Hello, hello to all of my Scorpios. This is Queen Amun Ra coming to you with your Motivational Monday reading. Scorpios, this reading is from the 17th of October through the 31st of October. Today kicks off, today kicks off or starts or marks the beginning of the last quarter moon in Cancer. In Cancer, Cancer is ruled by the moon. The moon is aligned with our intuition, our feelings, subconscious habits, moods, emotion. It's our our feeling for need for protection. And so our moon sign is just as important or maybe even more important than our sun sign. So while people are running around saying team, whatever their sign is, it's also important to what to, to know what sets you apart from other Scorpios. That's going to be your moon sign. Your moon, your rising, all the other placements in your chart. So let's get into it. The first card that popped out of the deck is the Wheel of Fortune. It's like it has something to tell you. So we're going to walk through. We're going to walk through all of the signs as I did on last Friday um, to, to tell you a little bit about what you can do while you're waiting on something, while we're going through these moon phases in case something is going on outside of your universe that could be chaotic. You know how sometimes you go to work and it's just a whole bunch of just craziness at work or in your family or whatever. Whatever is going on, how you can nurture yourself in the meantime, waiting on the things that you've prayed for. So let's get into it, Scorpios. Let's get right into it. Thank you for joining me. Thank you for joining me. If you're interested in a personal reading, my information is down below. We have the Wheel of Fortune, the World card, the Ace of Wands, the Emperor card, the Eight of Wands, and also the Knight of Pentacles. So here are your major arcana. Here are your major arcana. Something has ended. A cycle has ended. And so, and so... It looks like it looks like a cycle has ended. We have the world card and somebody is feeling free from something. Somebody is feeling free of something. Certainly we have leadership here. Your your leadership spirit is shining through. So you may have ended one position and moved into a leadership position. So if that's the case for you, congratulations. Your hard work has paid off. Here we have the Knight of Pentacles. Your hard work has paid off. And like I said, anything anything that you may have felt like you lost um, in that last cycle could have been um, could have been friendships, could have been uh, romantic relationships slash friendships, could have been you know, leaving behind a department or something like that. Like I said before, congratulations for moving forward. You're a fixed sign, so you weren't fixated on what was in the past. You've decided to move on. So there's new inspiration for you, and also things are moving very, very quickly for you. Also, um, also, and this is kind of sort of running, running parallel too, because somebody may have ended some kind of a relationship. It may not have been from one department to the next or one career to the next. It could have been also in a romantic sense too, where you have a new flame in your life and things are going to pick up really, really fast, right? Fire energy, right? We're talking about the wands energy here. But again, bottom line is your hard work has paid off. And so let's move a little bit into your moon sign for just a second. So no matter what your sun sign is, Scorpios, like I said, even if you're a cross watcher stopping through, this is Scorpio's reading. So no matter where Scorpio is in your chart, I'm talking to you. So that means I'm talking to myself because I have Scorpio in my chart as well. But this is also speaking directly to your moon sign and how you nurture yourself, how you mother yourself, how you, um, how, what, what self-care really looks like for you and what's going to really set you apart from other Scorpios. So let's go through from Aries all the way down to Pisces. And like I said before, uh, we're in this last quarter moon of um, of cancer before we move into a new moon phase on the 25th. I know we're coming up on Scorpio season. So thank you to um, those of you all who sent me some ideas, gift ideas for Scorpio season. We're trying to get prepared. I already have some ideas, but keep your ideas coming. I want to make sure I show you guys appreciation like I show every other sign, appreciation when it's their season. So keep the ideas coming. You can text it to me. My number is down below in the description box, or you can drop it below under the video. So like I said before, we're gearing up for Scorpio season. So all right, Scorpios, if your moon sign is in Aries, it does not suit you to be held back or to wait for others. You might show caring by helping your charges develop their independence. If your moon sign is Taurus, 
It is a prerequisite to take things slowly and calmly, paying proper attention to basic needs. Touch is important for well-being if your moon sign is Gemini. What feeds you is verbal contact and learning, reading, information exchange as part of your daily routines. If your moon sign is Cancer, your primary concern is security. There is a deep instinct to nurture and protect yourself and others. Feelings wax and wane, but are very powerful. If your moon sign is Leo, you seek an active flow of praise and love from others. You may be naturally connected to your own creative talents or seek to nurture those in others. If your moon sign is Virgo, your style of caretaking tends to be practical, quietly attending to humble tasks, care over diet and exercise can be your key to well-being. If your moon sign is Libra, you have an instinct to create relationships and may feel more at home in a partnership than on your own. Calm and peace are needed for well-being. If your moon sign is Scorpio, then that means that your emotions tend to run deep and holding on to hurts can be at times destructive. Tough physical exercise can be a way to direct, to discharge those feelings. If your moon sign is Sagittarius, you need room to move and travel around both physically and emotionally. The best nurturing is a feeling of inner freedom. If your moon sign is Capricorn, you may need structured routine and you tend to be efficient and your time and resources with your time and resources. Safety comes from feeling that you're in control of your own universe, not in control of someone else's, but of your own universe. If your moon sign is Aquarius, naturally gregarious and interested in the alternative option, you might feel at most at home living in a community. And last but not least, if your moon sign is Pisces, it can be hard for you to identify how you feel and sensitivity to others' feelings may cloud the issue. Retreat and time alone are needed to recharge. So hopefully you got a chance to hear your moon sign and see at least that part of the mothering or nurturing yourself, Scorpio, what sets you apart from other, um, what sets you apart from other Scorpios. I know some of the other signs have added their comments below and say, you know what, that's true. The thing, what, when I'm going through whatever, this is what nurtures me. This is what self-care looks like for me. So like if, if, if any of those resonate with you, drop a comment below. Here's your star card. This is about you learning how to nurture yourself. See how this person is, you know, pulling, drawing from their own emotions and creativity and watering their own soil. So this is you pulling from your own water as a water sign, right? Here we have the Knight of Swords. This is where, again, you're staying away from the dark comments and the dark thoughts about something. You're getting as far away from it as possible. See how this person, you can see they're kind of charging away from something. Yeah, they're trying to get as far away from any negativity as possible. And also, this may be a good time for you all to get, you know, get connected with a soulmate, right? Um, a soulmate could be a best friend. It could be a family member that you, they just understand you. They just get you so that you can fill their cup of what nurtures them and they can fill your cup of what nurtures you, right? So that's why our moon sign is so, so, so very important because like I said before, people say, oh, team, whatever your sun sign is. But a lot of people just forget all about the moon sign and what nurtures you. That's going to help you significantly, Scorpios, and your relationships with yourself and relationships with other people. Let me give you an example while we're moving forward because this I'm going to keep this card up here for what I mean. For instance, let's say that your sun sign is Scorpio, but also your moon sign is Scorpio, right? And so when emotions start to run deep about a situation, instead of it becoming destructive you can hit the gym you can go work out get that get that that frustration out hitting a, a, a bag or on a treadmill or you know lifting weights or whatever the case may be that's going to let you let off some steam so that's a very healthy way or let's say your moon sign is um is Virgo. You know, like I said before, your style of caretaking tends to be practical, quietly attending to humble tasks. You know, care over diet and exercise could be your, your key to well-being. So again, there's exercise again. There's, you know, just maybe tidying up the house and, you know, just taking care of just watering your own. That's how you're watering your own soil because Virgo is an earth sign. But let's say that your, your, um, your, your, um, your moon sign um, is Aquarius. 
maybe being a part of a community or, you know, like, you know, finding your soul tribe is a, a great time for you to just kind of sort of find ways, like maybe volunteering or something like that, maybe a way for you to, you know, feel better while you're waiting on something. So again, those are just a few of them. So I, you know, listen to what your moon sign is. Go please pull your full birth chart. If you don't already know your, your moon sign, you can go to, uh, I've been sending people to white websites that you guys have been telling me about, cafeastrology.com and also astro.com. So then those are free, those are free resources. So I try to give you all free resources as much as possible, but get near somebody who can fill your cup and you can reciprocate that as well, okay? So that's while you're waiting for something. So like I said before, somebody could be waiting to hear back from um from about a position or something also keep in mind mercury just went station direct not too long ago so you know there could have been a backup of information because mercury is ruled by i mean mercury is the communication planet and that's all forms of communication including our money including emails text messages snail mail whatever the case may be and so if you're waiting on something maybe like a leadership position to move into another place or you're you're moving forward the best thing to do is listen to what your moon sign is telling you to do as a form of self-care and getting around people that's, that kind of sort of just know what you need during this time. Their energy is also very nurturing as well. And, and also get trying to get your rest. Here's the thing. We're coming up on, we're closing out this cycle, but we're also entering into a new cycle and it's going to kick off with the new moon in Scorpio, in your sign, Scorpio, on the 25th of this month, which will already by that time be two days into Scorpio season. Not only that, we have the solar eclipse. So new moon energy is all about getting your rest. You won't have a choice but to get some rest because solar eclipse energy, which only happens a few times a year, it makes you very lethargic and very tired, right? So it's like a new moon, you know, amplified times 10. So this is where, again, you're your own knight in shining armor, you know, this time. And that's why being around somebody you feel like you're comfortable with, you can talk to around this time, you can communicate with, is going to make all the difference in the world. Somebody that really nurtures your spirit. Somebody that really, really nurtures your spirit. Because again, coming to the end of a cycle can be traumatic for some people, but it doesn't have to be dramatic. Okay. Let's keep it moving forward. Scorpios, let's keep it moving forward again. Thank you for joining me for this Monday motivation, Monday motivational reading. All right. So again, this reading is from the 17th of October through the 31st of October, through the 31st of October, through the 31st of October. So let's keep it moving forward. Here we have the temperance card. Yeah. And like I said, this is connected to Sagittarius. If your moon sign is Sagittarius, you need room to move and travel around, both physically and mentally. So the best nurturing is a feeling of inner freedom. So whatever it is that you need to do, you know, maybe you and your friend can, maybe you and your soulmate can go take a trip if your moon sign is, is Sagittarius, right? But something that's going to keep you at a cool temperament, you know, in the meantime, something that's going to keep you at a real cool temperament in the meantime. Let's see what else we have going on here, Scorpios. Let's see what else we have going on here. Let's see what else we have going on here so we can wrap up your reading. But yeah, somebody has some good news coming, like I said, down the pike. And it's what you do in the meantime that's going to make all the difference in the world. And it's also going to feel like it's speeding up time too. Here we have the Queen of Cups. That's right. You know, being compassionate towards other movement that's going on around. This is the Queen of Cups, and this is uh, speaking to compassion. Being compassionate towards other things that's happening in and around your universe while you're waiting for something, okay? Yeah, while you're waiting for something. Waiting can be, waiting for something that you have really anticipated. It could be frustrating. It could be like, okay, people forgot all about me. That's why I talk about the moon phases and also what's retrograde. Uranus is also retrograde right now. See, Mercury is no longer retrograde. It's station direct. But Uranus is Mercury. I mean, Uranus is retrograde. And so that's the planet of spontaneity. That's the planet of liberation and feeling free from something. So it can happen any moment for somebody if it hasn't already happened. So let me be the first to congratulate somebody. Yeah, here we have three. I am charismatic. 
Expression comes naturally to you. You are very skilled at communicating your thoughts through conversation and creative pursuits. You are able to get others on board with your ideas. That's right. You're able to get others on board with your ideas. All right. So let's see what else we got going on here. Let's see what else we have going on here. Let's see what else we have going on here. Let's see what else we have going on here. Let's pull some Oracle cards for you, Scorpio. So yeah, like I said before, things are going to move really quickly. Like inspiration coming across your path could mean you have a new soulmate coming across your path, like maybe a new friend or a new love interest coming across your path. And it's like somebody's just going to understand you. They're just going to get you. So for those of you who, you know, are open to... Uh, a new romantic relationship because not everybody's open to a, a romantic relationship. Some people are just like, I just need some time for me. But if you are open to a new romantic relationship or if you already have soulmate energies around you, that's where you want to go to get your spirit fed. But don't forget to reciprocate that same energy. But hold on to your vision. Hold on to your vision. What do you see for your life? What do you see for yourself? Hold on to that vision. Hold on to it. Hold on to it, hold on to it, hold on to it, hold on to it. Hold on to it, hold on to it, hold on to it. Hold on to it. Here we have, because things are flowing to you like water. Um, somebody is about to, like I said, somebody is about to give birth to something, their dream. Something you're, you're entering into a season. You're marking the beginning. I don't want to just say a season because it's going to be a continuous flow, like flowing like water, whether it's in a romantic relationship, whether it's in a professional relationship, platonic relationship, or all of the above. But things are flowing to you like water. So again, what's most important is that you know how to nurture yourself so that way you can effectively communicate to people around you, Scorpio, so that is no and, ifs, or buts about what you need to nurture your spirit uh, during this time. So let's see what else we got going on here. Let's see what else we have going on here. Oh, we already have chosen a number three, but we got <laughs> another three. So add another three to it. So you got four threes here, right? But this one is you are being called upon to use your spiritual gifts as a light worker, assisting all humanity. Live your truth to be a positive light to others. So this is nice. Very, very nice. Let's pull one last card. And this is your affirmation card before we close out your reading, Scorpios. Again, thank you guys for joining me. Come keep your ideas coming. Like I said, some of you all have sent me text messages. Some of you all have sent me DMs on Instagram. Some of you all have dropped comments below the videos. But nevertheless, we're trying to get geared up for Scorpio season. So like I said, I can show you guys how much I appreciate you all too. So uh, like I do with the other signs. If you're not following me on Instagram or you, um, you don't get a chance to check out the community page, usually I will put like uh, questions on the community page just so you have a heads up questions on the community page or like uh like a trivial question for the giveaways or sometimes on instagram so just you know keep your eyes open for those but affirmations for growth this here we have i am a work in progress i release old habits and create new trails each day i am getting better i am in charge of the direction of my life i am not defined by my past i grow through my struggles roadblocks create opportunity that's right. That is what I have for you, Scorpios. Thank you so much for joining me on this Motivational Monday. Again, this video is from the 17th of October through the 31st of October, and where we're going to roll right on into that, uh, that solar eclipse. And so get prepared for it. It's so important. I have to re re reiterate this, that you know specifically what feeds your spirit. Feed your spirit so that you can communicate that to others. And then also, you know, learn about others' moon signs so you'll know how to reciprocate. Where's that card? So you'll know how to reciprocate that water, that energy, okay? That's what I have for you, and I'll see you on Wednesday. Bye.